Hello everybody, Zabian here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to form the Drake of the South Wind Mount from the Throne of the Four Winds. Now you can get to the Throne of the Four Winds by flying down to the bottom of Kalimdor and heading to the bottom of Aldum. You can get to Aldum by taking a portal in your main city, be that Stormwind or Orgrimmar, if you have done the quest chain for the Ramekin. Or you can fly here or take a flight path if you already have it. So a uh, big thing, key thing to note before we enter this instance is you can actually have this instance on, you can have it on normal difficulty, 25 player, and it's not going to make a difference because the mount drops from both normal and heroic. And honestly it's better having it on normal because it saves uh, a bit of stress because the heroic version can be a bit iffy sometimes. So I'm just going to go in here and I'm going to show you the way that I normally do it. Okay, so when we're in the instance you will be confronted by three bosses. There's Amishal and there's Nazir and there's Rohash and I actually just had to hover over them because I had no idea what their fucking names were. And what we're gonna do is they have a uh, timer so one has to die and then he'll start casting something which will bring him back to life. Well he doesn't really die but it'll, it'll put him back to full health. So originally these guys would have, have to, would have had to die at the same time. But Luckily enough, we have enough damage and enough movement things to be able to kill them singularly and still have enough time to get them down. So what we're going to do is just head onto the left hand side over to Anishal first, this is what I normally do, and just smash him with everything you've got. Just get him down as fast as you possibly can. And then what you're going to do is you're going to head back and then you're going to take the uh, the right little wind boost far thing. And then you're going to head over to now this guy, uh, Rohash. And this guy is argu arguably the kind of the harder one because he does an ability. He's not done it this time. But sometimes he can take a... Uh, okay, there you go. He uh, made my cast time extremely slow. I hope you guys can see that right there. So it's best to like s stick to your abilities which either have like a dot or they're just instant. So for melee this is really isn't that much of a problem, but for casters it's kind of an issue. So now you take the third one and we're going to finally kill Nazir. And I'm still in Kepler. Now Nazir is one of the easier ones. He's going to die relatively quickly as long as you just spam your abilities into him. It's one of those kind of like no big deal ones. And as you can see, the boss has died successfully. As for loot, you can get a few transmog pieces from here. Like if you're trying to get the, uh, like this set, I don't really know what that set's called. I mean, you can get an Orgrimmar now for gold, but if you don't really have the gold or don't really feel like it's worth spending gold on that, I can understand that. Okay, so now moving on to, the, to Alakir, you're going to go ahead and in the center of the room, there's one on each of these platforms where you can click on a slipstream, and this slipstream is just going to transport you into the center platform where Alakir is. And essentially on Alakir, it doesn't really matter, he can't really do that much damage to you, as long as you're level 100 you're going to have one hell of an easy time against him, just pop all the CDs you have and he's gonna die. Hell, you don't even need the CDs. I'm just gonna use them because I can. So just spam everything you got onto him. And yes, I know I'm spamming the wrong, wrong abilities for a druid, but still. Keep spamming, spamming him down. He's going to do this little thing, but don't worry, uh, it's not really going to have any effect. You just wait till you get sent out, and just keep spamming, spamming him down again. 
it really has absolutely no effect on how easy this boss is. Okay, so this is actually the first time I killed this boss on this character, uh, amazingly. So, once you've killed him, there'll be this little crystal that spawns in the center of the, I don't know, the center of the room-ish, center of where he was standing, called Heart of the Wild. Now, you're just going to open this, and this will give you your loot. So, has the drop mount drop for me? God damn it, no it has not, but you can still get a few uh, transmog pieces and etc. So, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then please show your appreciation by giving this video a like. If you want to see more content from me, then hit that subscribe button. And if you have any suggestions or feedback, then please leave that in the comments below and I will get around to reading it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.